Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? You know what? I'm doing okay. My camera's still goofy. I'm going to stop playing with the camera, though. I promise. Uh, Kyle, we had a bye week for Ohio State, so we're starting this Monday with a collegiate chaos. Uh, stick around on Tuesday, and if this is already Tuesday, or maybe if it's Wednesday, go check out the Tuesday episode. We have some conference realignment conversation to go over, which I'm very excited about. It's literally my favorite topic to talk about ever. So make sure to tune in for the Tuesday episode if you weren't already planning to do so. And oh, by the way, it's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. Care if I join in on that? Oh, please do. Be no- noise gate off if you didn't already. Did you have your noise gate off? I, I didn't hear it. I did. Maybe it came through on your recording. I, did. I didn't hear it. I did. Okay. I got, got this look. from, um, I got this from uh, Trader Joe's. Uh, they got some Oktoberfest coming out. So, Ooh, nice. Love me some good land grant. Yeah, yeah. It's a hoppy American wheat. It looks to be unofficially associated with the crew. I'm going to say unofficially. Um, all right. All right. Kyle, uh, it is. Uh, yeah. Collegiate Cle- Chaos. Collegiate Chaos. More more souls from Team Chaos this week? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I would okay. say I would say there was not a true... I would say that there is not... Oh, by the way, there's the art for our uh, Tuesday episode coming up in the in the Discord chat version of the YouTube video. Um, yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't say, I would say there was not a true chaos game this weekend. I, I feel like the, the theme so far, three weeks, three weeks here, even though, yes, there's been some, unless you're Florida team State. chaos here, there, there's been some, there's been some team chaos here and there, but I think for the most part, it's team chaos kind of knocking on doors. Yeah. Almost, almost, it's, it's, it's almost a very, happening here. It's a very September <laughs> thing, though, for good teams to almost lose to bad teams and then like blow them out in the fourth quarter. That's just a very September college football thing. Um, yep. That being said, Kyle, uh, Tulane did beat Florida State this weekend, and it's excuse me, not Tulane, Memphis, Memphis, Memphis beat Memphis beat uh, Florida State this weekend. And the fact that we are not considering that chaos is peak chaos if you're Florida State. Like the fact that that just doesn't even count anymore. That's that's no, bad it, news it, if you're it, Florida State. No, it it doesn't at it doesn't at this point here. But a lot of other teams, a lot of other teams here. Well, we're gonna. Well, let's just jump right into it then. A uh, lot, lot of other teams came came close here. Um, uh, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll start Oops, off. Oops, I, I, I had I brought the sloop picks up again. God, I have to quit doing that. These are the sloop ki- the sloop picks. Wow, wow, zero um, seven from our guests spikes, last week. Spikes, you were one of two people. Uh, and you're currently in the chat, and you're one of two people. So you're half responsible for this, spikes. <laughs> over the chat went over now kyle i wouldn't be talking too much no ish no, no. and by ish, the way ish, i was yes. i was only too better the important thing to take away here first off georgia what are y'all doing every single person in our online slip picks which we run through cbs sports every single person picked georgia that did not, that did not turn out well for the server um but Kyle, I'm now two games ahead of you. I may have only yeah, went two fine. for five this weekend, but I beat you, and that's all that matters. That's, and that's okay, and that's okay. It's it's only it's only three weeks here, so we're and uh, three yeah, weeks of ca- chaos theory, still no hits. And it doesn't matter who you pick. It does not matter no. who you pick. All every every single ranked team that played an unranked team has won. Yeah. And, oh, I'll say this, Kyle. Your team at and, least and got close. that happened again this week. That your, happened again this week. Your pick at least got close. You, of of the three, 
Ole Miss won their game handedly. Oregon won their game handedly. Oklahoma at least struggled for a while before eventually pulling away. But, like, it doesn't count for anything, but you had the best pick of the nope. three. It's, it, it still doesn't matter because we didn't get any points here, but we digress and move move on to uh, our our grading chart here. So for those, for those not seeing our YouTube video here, we have our, we have our board S, A, B, C, and M tier. Just to remind everybody, S tier is favorites to win it all. A tier is playoff teams. So a combined S and A tiers for us are, would have to be 12 teams, not 11, not 13, 12 teams. Yeah. Then we have the B, then we have the B tier, which has the playoff bubble. C tier is everyone else, and M tier, massive disappointment. Which uh, can we put Florida State even lower than M tier at this point? No, that's exactly where they belong. Like the only way you get lower is if I delete them. But this is this is this is the shame table. This is can, this can, is can we, this is maybe, the dunce maybe, maybe corner. Maybe you can shrink them. Maybe you can shrink just them. Make, just make it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel like it's more punishment to be like it is. loudly and proudly in M tier. Yeah. All right. Well, let's M let's start minus. with S tier. <laughs> yeah. Let's let, let's start with the S tier. We have Ohio State, Georgia, Texas, Alabama. Ohio nope. State's the only one that was on a bye week of those four this yeah. week here. Uh, I guess we'll well let's let's start with Texas and Alabama. Uh, Texas. Uh, Texas just takes care of her business um, in in their game uh, against uh, University of Texas of San Antonio, the um, Roadrunners. Uh, the I, I think the bigger the biggest question out of this game here, not so much that they beat them fifty six to seven, but it's it's with Quinn Ewers. Quinn Ewers goes yeah. down, in comes Arch Manning. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, some some iffy throws here and there, but it's yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. He's he's gonna he's gonna do what he needs to do to to score points and all that. So I don't think Texas uh, Texas is still one of the four best teams in my mind. Uh, so AP moved they, him up to number one after this week. That's fine. Yeah, AP doesn't matter, but no, that's fine. It doesn't. And, uh, and 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 I'll say this in case there's you know someone out there watching this for the first time. You see that Ohio State is what some people would call first in our S tier. Our S tier is not ranked. You are simply no. in the S tier, or you are not in this. I say this. I say, like I try to move some of the better teams to the left for C tier, just because it makes it easier for me to find them. Not, but. Again, it's not even a ranking. There's no rankings within the tiers. You're either in, you're either a member of a tier or you aren't. There, there's no ranking within the tiers. Yeah. At least not yet. You, you, we get later in the season. We start looking at some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so Kyle, um, Bama, Alabama, so Bama. Uh, I started off slow, but I mean that's credit to Wisconsin. Uh, sure. Wisconsin, I think, uh, started off um with a field goal, took the lead, but. Bama's depth took over, which is what I what I expected it to be. It's um, what I predicted it to be. If you listen, if you co- know, complete co- listen complete to the dominance, forty two to ten picks. Uh, yeah, so those two teams, yeah, those two teams, S tier. I I don't I don't have any Ohio State bye week remains an S tier. Georgia yep. had a Georgia struggle game against Kentucky, uh, and some people are going to be like, "Well, Kentucky's actually pretty good." Kentucky got their doors blown off by South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, who in turn lost LSU this weekend. And LSU oh, lost to Notre Dame. And Notre Dame lost to Northern Illinois. And as we all know, that's good sound logic. It's not good sound logic. But you get, you get my point. Yeah, but I mean it's Georgia. Georgia did get the win there, but I don't think they deserve to be moved down. Unless you see anybody that did well no. this week. That listen, they had a struggle. To be replaced Georgia. They, well, well, first off, we don't have to have four in S tier. 
Like we could put, we could move someone up into S tier and not move Georgia down. Okay. It, All right. That's fair. Like, that's fair. Yeah. It last year, four teams in S tier. That was the rule, but that's, we don't have a four team playoff okay. anymore. Um, right, fair enough. But yeah, they had, this, I mean, and you know, Kentucky is not a great football team. They're still an SEC football team though. You know what I mean? Like they had a bit of a struggle game against an SEC team. That's fine. Like, Ohio State had a bit of a struggle game a month against a much worse Akron and whatever. I'm not I'm not going to hold a, a one little yeah. struggle game against Georgia. Yeah, agreed. Um, let's just go and just how we have it listed here again. It doesn't mean this is the order that we think they are like ranked one through twelve, but sure. Miami is next on the list here. Miami takes care of business over Kent State, 71 to nothing. They scored 37 points in the first quarter, 28 in the second, and then three points in the third and three in the fourth. Yeah. Absolutely nothing in the second half, which is whatever. It's, right. It is. They they did what they needed to do. Yeah. Amazing is, showing is, from is, Miami. Is Miami even the real deal? Is, is uh, Miami the real deal with Cam Ward taking the helm here? Listen, 71 to nothing, even against a team as bad as Kent, is nothing to be scoffed at. Especially, as Kyle pointed out, almost all of those points were scored in the first they, they, half. They've taken they've taken care of everybody on their schedule. Yeah. Um, when, Florida, 41 to 17 manhandle, York. Uh, takes care of business over Florida A&M, 56 to 9, 62 to nothing just this last weekend. It's... When are they going to be tested here? They play. Yeah, South that was about Florida. to ask you that. They play Virginia Tech, then California, then at Louisville. Yeah, Louisville is the first, uh, and only, and, and only. They then play Florida State, Duke, Georgia Tech, Wake Forest, and Syracuse. Georgia Tech's not bad, and Syracuse isn't bad. I mean, they're. We're, we're, we're just trying to figure out who the heck Miami is. Uh, and yeah. those three games should at least give us a better idea than what we've seen so far. That, that's not going to tell us until middle to the end of October here. So, yeah, I, I think at this point, keep Miami where they're at right now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Um, Ole Miss. Ole Miss is next year, 40 to 6 over Wake Forest. Uh, they... Started off with a uh, great, great first quarter and just cruised, cruised the rest of the the game there. Uh, likewise, that Ole Miss. What, what do we take? What do we think of Ole Miss here? They haven't really played anybody. I mean, like like Ohio State, they haven't played anybody so far, but they've they've taken care of business. Uh, shut out Furman, only three points against MTSU, only six points to uh, Wake Forest here. I mean, yeah, again, they're doing what they're supposed to do against who they're supposed to do it against. But, like, we already talked about what Miami, I mean, Miami's schedule so far is way better than what Ole Miss has played so far. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's what it is. They do play, they do play Georgia Southern, then Kentucky, South Carolina, LSU, and Oklahoma right in a row there. I don't like so. any of those teams that much if I'm being honest with you. Oklahoma has struggled against some yeah. lousy they, teams. But they do they do play Georgia in November. So that, there's that. There's that. But that's a pretty yeah. light schedule by SEC standards for Ole Miss. It is. Yeah, I mean Yeah, no Texas, no Bama. Alabama. Yeah. No Georgia it's, until late. Mhm. Mm so we'll keep an eye. We'll keep an eye on Ole Miss. Tennessee has right. looked really good. Yeah. Tennessee uh, only let up three points to Chattanooga, only let up 10 to NC State, and shut out uh, Kent State uh, this last weekend here. Like Ole Miss, they, they're doing exactly what they need to do here. But I think uh, I said Miami is, beat Kent before. I, I was confused, but yeah. it's fine. Their their offense is just really good. And is Tennessee finally finding their their groove where they've where they're actually going to compete for uh 
for an SEC championship here. I, I mean, mean, it's really easy to look at Miami, Ole Miss, and Tennessee and put them in the same bucket. As far as like teams who have always had a lot of hype, but not ever really delivered mm-hmm. at the end. Um, now, Ole Miss, you could certainly make the argument that that's because they've played in the SEC West for so long. You know, they're kind of like the Penn State of the SEC, where they're going to really enjoy not having to be in, you know, the Big Ten East or the SEC West. Um, so a real winner as far as divisional realignment. Um, Tennessee, you know, the East had, you know, always been the easier one, although Georgia has, you know, taken over as the premier program in the SEC, at least for now. Um, so maybe not point is, is that, you know, Miami, Ole Miss, Tennessee, these are teams that have historically had a lot of early hype, but not really delivered in the end. And so it's really hard for me to not just say, let's play a waiting game with them. Yep. Yep. Um, USC was next, not in action this weekend, but Missouri. Yep, USC, was, yep Missouri was. Yeah, they Missouri played was. Boston College. They played Boston College, which gave. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was respect, a good game. It was respect the Boston College on that one. Seventeen to fourteen at halftime, and yeah, it was a, it was a very defensive struggle in the second half there, and Boston Boston made a game. Boston made it a game in the in the fourth quarter. Uh, Missouri did win twenty seven to twenty one. Um, I still I still don't know about this Missouri team. This I mean they they shut out teams the first two weeks here. They get a good win against Boston College this weekend. I all, all of these SEC teams here, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Missouri. I they're doing they're they're doing what they're supposed to do. I just don't. I just don't know them until they actually play some tough opponents, which most of these don't play until a little bit later in the year here. Um, Austin, I think it was Austin, asked me during the social screen in the Discord server, uh, he goes, does this mean that Missouri isn't as good as we thought or that Boston College is better than we thought? Only and- time will tell. Well, my my snap reaction was that Boston College is better than we thought. By the way, I literally spoke Austin's name, then he showed up. Hi, Austin. Um, but my, yeah, my my snap response in that moment was that Boston College is better than we thought. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. That I I so I that's, that's just... I tr- I don't know if I don't know if I like Missouri more than I like Miami, Ole Miss, and Tennessee, but I trust them more. If that makes sense, like. I think I saw them be really good last year against really good teams and not fall apart towards the end. I I have a little more faith in Missouri than I do in the three previously talked about teams. Okay. Um, Oregon. Oregon actually had a, finally had a good game this year. They they looked like three games. They looked like the Oregon we expected to see. Uh, earlier yeah. in the year. I thought this was going to be a really close game here. Uh, and it was, it was um, at halftime. I think Oregon was up by eight, but Oregon, Oregon state was shut out in the second half there. So yeah, this is, this is the Oregon we were expecting here. Now will they, will they continue suit here as they, um, as they start their big 10 uh, opponents here. Uh, they do start off with UCLA, Michigan state, not going to really find out, but it's it's that October twelfth date that we're we're really going to find out about Oregon, yeah, and about Ohio State too, and about Ohio State, yeah. Because I think the question is, it's like, you know, with Oregon, it's just like, okay, well, so so who's the real Oregon? Is Oregon the team we saw this weekend, or is Oregon the team that we saw the first two weekends? And you know, they have some you know, new quarterback, you know, they, you know, maybe in a bit of flux. So maybe it's taken them a little bit to, you know, you know, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Congeal 
into a team to catch their rhythm in this new form of the uh, Oregon football team. So, yeah, you know, are they just naturally erratic? Are they only going to show up for big games? Were they just knocking some rust off in the first two weeks? These are questions we will remain, you know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on Oregon as the season goes. Yep. All right. And we're going to, with that, we're going to go ahead and take a quick, quick ad break here. Um, be sure to head on over to the sloopcast.com where you can find all of our lovely links to our Discord server. Or you can just head on over to discord.sloopcast.com and, or you can head over to our YouTube page, which is YouTube dot the soupcast.com just plug in product dot the soupcast.com it's going to bring you to where you want if you want to skip these ads head over to um the patreon patreon dot the soupcast.com uh to become a patron to skip these ads and um yeah with, with that being said we'll go ahead and take a quick bad ad break and be right back or we can take a quick bad break quick bad break sounds like fun too <laughs> hey, hey, we're back from the we're back from the bad break. All right, Kyle. Um, Utah, 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 Utah is next here. Uh, kind of a yeah, a tough tough battle against in-state rival Utah State. Uh, they did they did pull out um, out in front in the fourth quarter, thirty-eight to twenty-one. But it was it was really close uh, going into the fourth quarter there. Yeah. Um, Austin said down in the chat, I think for now you got to move Utah for Kansas state. And that's a, you know, we will, we'll, I think we need to have a conversation as far as like, if you look at our S and a tier, it is made up of basically sec teams, a couple big 10 teams. And then, one ACC team and one Big 12 team and one group of five team. And I think we do need to revisit, maybe not right this second or maybe right this second, depending upon what Kyle's in the mood for. We need to need to revisit. Do we still think that Miami should be the sole ACC representative? Do we still think that Utah should be the sole Big 12 representative? And do we still think that NIU should be the sole group of five representative? And to uh, Austin's point, Kansas State dominated Arizona. They got to replace they Utah did. for now. I think that's a good argument. I don't know if we're... Yeah, I'd, or, or, do you want to have that conversation now, Kyle? Well, let's... let's or do you want to keep going? Look at the, let's, let's look at the body of work real quick here. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time because we got a lot of teams still here. Uh, Kansas State has the better win here um, over Arizona, 31-7. to Utah's best win Probably Baylor. I would say probably Baylor where they won by 11, 23 to 12 there. So, yeah, I would say, I would say for in our week three here, yeah, let's, let's swap the Wildcats with the Utes for this week. This is, this is always changing. So, uh, for week three, I, I feel comfortable putting Kansas State there. Uh, I and would say that Miami, it, any any objections to keeping Miami in for the ACC? Uh, the only other conversation I think to be had would be Louisville, because I, I don't think Clemson's a good option. And no, I think the, that's at this it. point now. Yeah. yeah, at this point now. Absolutely. I, I 100 percent agree. Um, but I felt like it was appropriate uh, yep. to ask. And in the, do you want to talk one, about Jared, the group of five now or do you yep. want to save that for later? Yeah, the last one we have uh, is Northern Illinois was our group of five to make it in here. Uh, I'm about I'm, to I'm ask the our saddest op- possible so, question. So, so, I'm so, about I'm looking, to, so I'm I'm about to add, ask the saddest possible question. Do we really care that Memphis beat Florida State? No. Florida State's 0-3. I know. No, no, I know that. I, listen, I knew, I knew the answer to that question. So here's, but it's here, wild that I, not only that I had to ask, but that that's so, so the answer. Memphis stays on Memphis stays on B tier. They, they say where they're at. Just they're, they're one of the better. 
uh, Power of Five team. So the teams right now, it's just mentioned Memphis, uh, Boise State, um, UCF, and Northern Illinois, in, in my opinion here. Okay. Would be, um, I think, I think the teams to... What, um, what about UCF? Uh, yeah, UCF. But they're Big 12 now. Oh, that, that, they are Big 12. That's right. Yeah, I keep yeah. forgetting about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So they would have to replace Kansas State, which I don't think we're going to do. Uh, right. Although we could have a conversation about moving UCF up into B tier, not A tier, but the B so, tier. So Boise, so Northern Illinois, Boise, and Memphis. Can I ask about UNLV? Sure. What do you want to ask about? Do do they belong in B tier? Um. Yeah, yeah, I think they do. They did. They they beat Kansas this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, they beat Houston in week one, and mm-hmm. they dominated week two over Utah Tech, seventy-two to fourteen. I mean, if they beat Utah Tech, I, I, yeah, I, I would say, I would say, sure. Sure, put them in B tier. Yes, yes, Austin, we'll find for out B tier for B tier. We'll find out in three weeks. We'll find out in in a few weeks here. Actually, maybe in two weeks here. Uh, they do. They do play Fresno State, which, if anybody remembers, gave uh, Michigan a run run for their money in week one there. So maybe we'll see something there, but definitely that following week where UNLV plays Syracuse. Kyle, can I ask you about San Jose State? No. No. I don't know, sure, but no, we 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 got we have to we have to kind of I I have to stop you there because there's there's a lot more teams we have to talk about, Jared. So. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I am gonna move them right. over into that column though. Okay, uh, Penn State was on bye week; they stay where they're at. Uh, Clemson was on bye week, I believe, as well. Yep, they were they were on bye week, so they stay they stay where they're at. We talked about Utah moving down to B tier. Um, Syracuse was Syracuse. I don't think Syracuse was in action, weren't they? Uh, I don't think so. I'm looking. Nope, nope. They are too many. A lot of a lot of teams were off this yeah. week here. <laughs> Very popular bye week. Yeah, uh, Nebraska. I did what they don't believe. They, no, they did, but they played in FCS. They school. were. Yeah, they played Northern Iowa 34 to 3. Good job. Good job. Uh Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State was off. I'm almost certain. They I were. don't remember hearing anything from um, Oklahoma nope. State. Nope. They beat Tulsa. They beat Tulsa oh. 45 to 10. Here we go. Uh that's keeps them right where they're at. LSU. LSU. Definitely played this weekend. Um, uh-huh. They you remember? probably should have lost to South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm slow playing it, Austin, which pisses off Kyle, which is why I do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, com- I mean, yeah, that 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 just keeps them right in B tier. I think that just that makes them a very B tier team. They have they have one loss, um, yeah. yeah. Well, here's if, the thing: they if, lost if they to... lost if they lost if they lost to South Carolina, yeah, I would definitely move them down to to C tier then. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. If not M tier, you know. But anyway, that's not a we're not going to have a hypothetical conversation about what would have happened in that case. Uh, Coastal Carolina, sure. Liberty, UNLV. These are, uh, you know, along with Boise and Memphis, our group of five representatives. Um, Coastal Carolina almost lost this they did. weekend. They did. But they mm-hmm. didn't. Mm-hmm. What about Arizona? Arizona, Arizona State had a, tier? I would say no. They were non-competitive. They didn't just lose. They were non-competitive. Mm-hmm. Yep. I would, I would agree. You can move them down to C tier. They got, they got to show me more. I yeah, I mean, more they to be in B tier. They lost some players, uh, you know. They lost their coach, although their coach 
their old coach also lost this weekend. Um, Kyle, what about Toledo? What about no. Toledo? Okay. You you, tell, you 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 brought up Toledo. You you bring the case of why of why well, you want to move them. They destroyed an SEC team this weekend, and they're three and zero. Now, granted, that SEC team was Mississippi State, which is kind of like beating up. But but still, a Mac I, I totally, a Mac school. I totally missed this game. Wow. A Mac school obliterated obliterated an SEC school. I kind of feel like you we should to, move them up into B tier. You know what? Just because just because we love the we love some action. Sure, let's move the Rockets up up to B tier. Can, can can I make a rocket sound while I do it? No. Uh, because the noise gate it. is on, you're not going to hear oh, it. Oh, did it? Did my did my <laughs> rocket sounds not come through the noise gate? I hope they did. No, no. the The best team in blue and yellow in the country. Notre Dame might have something to say about that. I mean, it's like a gold. So yeah, yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Best blue and yellow team in the country. Sold. All right. I'm not going to go through all the. Uh, all the C tiers here, but no. Is there anybody that is in C tier you would like to move up? I think there are conversations to be had. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not going to fully jump on the Indiana train yet. I, you know, I, I think we can keep an eye on Indiana for now. I don't think we need to move them up yet. Question. Can I, can I, even though they were on bye week, even though they were on bye week this week, what about the case for the Cyclones? So we probably do, along with UCF, you know, we don't have a lot of Big 12 representation, and that's like the definition of the playoff bubble, right? That's the definition of the playoff bu- bubble. We need more Big 12 teams. A Big 12 team has to get in. We currently have, because we just kicked out Arizona, between in the top three tiers, Big 12 teams include Oklahoma State and Kansas, and Kansas State. State. That's it. I think we need some more Big 12 represent, representation in the so playoff I'm, bubble. And so I'm okay I'm moving both UCF and Iowa State up. True. I'm, I'm good with that, too. I'm, I'm fine with that. Now, right, as far I'm as ACC at... represent, uh, we already in, by the way, I, this is a thing I wanted to come into this podcast with. I wanted to, I wanted to expand B tier because we needed representation from the other auto qualifiers, right? So I think we needed representation from the, from the group of five, which we've done. We brought in UNLV and Toledo. Um, so I feel like that makes me feel better there. We've brought in Iowa State and UCF for more Big 12 representation. That makes me feel good there. As far as the ACC is concerned, we have Miami, we have Louisville, we have Clemson, and we have Syracuse. I feel like that's appropriate, yes? I feel like that's appropriate ACC representation. All right. Now, technically, Kyle, Washington State also... Group of five non-conference auto I assume they would. I assume that they would. I would assume that Washington State fault could qualify as the the non-qualifier conference, right? Yeah, give me give me the case for Washington State. Well, they're a power five quality school who can steal the auto qualifying s- spot away from a group of five school. They cannot? Oh, they fall under the same category as Notre Dame. Mm. Interesting. So they gotta be a top twelve and they, they got a they got a long ways to go here. Yeah. They they did get the uh big win over Washington this week. And their schedule does not help them. Their schedule does not help them the rest of the week. They they need a lot of help. I, th- I think at this point, Washington State, in my mind, stays where they're at until teams 
start losing and then they start moving their way up because of teams losing that in my mind i think that's the only way for like washington state um i love i don't like leach for the record <laughs> i mean you said kyle but I, did, I don't like that person i know he's dead now but i don't follow the rule of not saying ill of the dead i think he was an asshole so i already said uh, i don't follow only- that rule the only other team, the only other team that we don't have in B tier that I want to mention here, there are how many? We got one, two, three, four, five, five Big Ten teams. Why don't we add a sixth into the playoff bubble? Uh, no. No. Even even though they're undefeated. You don't think that's I don't think that's good enough for the Big Ten. There's already so many Big Ten teams. Even though even though in, on their in, record, even though even though in their schedule, they beat the they beat a nineteenth ranked team. Are we talking about Indiana right now? Nope, I'm not. Are we talking about Michigan State right now? Nope. We are not Michigan State. <laughs> uh they're also undefeated yeah they are there yeah i know you're not talking about cal cal just or well not excuse me not cal ucla uh you're not talking about ucla they just got destroyed by indiana um Mm -hmm. try again uh no you're not talking about iowa no you're not talking about michigan no you're you're not talking about minnesota minnesota already lost nope nope you're get you're running out of teams here. Dave. I am running out of teams. <laughs> Wisconsin just got their face kicked in. Um, mm-hmm. Northwestern's two and one. Yeah, Northwestern is not undefeated. Um, there's two. There's just two other teams that's undefeated that you haven't mentioned about Rutgers. Uh huh. And Illinois. Illinois. See, I brought up Illinois last week, and you told me no. Well, now now I'm bringing up Illinois now. But there, here, here, this is a totally not a fair argument, but I'm going to make it anyway. They're Illinois. Well, here, here's a, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Exactly, spikes. They may go right back to C tier next week. They they play they. Who do they play next weekend? Uh. Eight o'clock on Fox. They are heading on over to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers. Why don't we leave them in C tier for right now? And we'll put them all the way on to the left of all the way on the left. And then after Nebraska, we can decide what we want to do. Or you can just keep them there because you already moved them there. (laughs) You know what? Fine. All right. Um, any, I don't have any other teams that I think should move up or down. Do you, Jared? Or I mean, does chat? I, I kind of brought up, that I brought like up Washington up State and San Jose State and you shot me down. So I look forward to you bringing them up as options next week. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, oh, we got two recommendations for M tier. Who lost other than Whoa. Florida State? Did, I, I, I'm seeing double me. My, uh, uh, who? Photoshop crashed. Who are we, who lost big or lost that they shouldn't have this weekend? Is there anybody, is there anybody here? Kentucky for punting on fourth and short. (laughs) Did we really have expectations for Kentucky? I mean, that, that's kind of the, that's kind of the rub of it, right? Like you have to fail. So who who did we have high expectations that should be going down? We didn't have high expectations for Florida. So I don't think no. Florida goes down to M tier. Absolutely not. The answer has to be Mississippi State. State. Okay, again well, though. Was there expectations? But he he's talking specifically about getting rolled by Toledo. And I get it. But at the same time, M is literally called massive disappointment. I don't think we gave a shit about was was Kentucky preseason ranked even? 
lose by 30 to a max school. I know, but as Mississippi State, who gives a shit? Like, I, I, I don't yeah. feel like... There's a scene in The Simpsons, right? There's a scene in The Simpsons where uh, Krusty the Clown is telling Sideshow Bob that you, you can't hit a man in the face if he he's already dressed like a clown with a pie because he has no dignity to lose. You have to hit a man in a suit with a pie because then you take his dignity away and that's where the comedy is. There's no comedy in hitting a clown in the face with a pie. Mississippi State's just a clown. Florida State was wearing a nice three-part suit. It's funny when we hit Florida State with a pie. <laughs> but Jared, every I, team I in it. the SEC get, is great, no? If, no. If Mississippi, if Mississippi State had a lot of hype around them and that they were going to do well and potentially be a playoff bubble team, then sure. But there was zero expectations you, in my M, mind from M tier. M tier is a notorious is a notorious labeling. You have to fail expectations. It's sort of like how to say it. It's sort of like when you aren't expecting an ad break and then I give you an ad break. But you can avoid those ad breaks by going to thesloopcast.com or patreon.thesloopcast.com or discord.thesloopcast.com. It's only $3 a month uh, to join up for our Patreon. All right. You guys got caught. Let's just, let's just acknowledge that you guys got caught. And, oh yeah, you got got bad. Oh, that's well, that's a good point. You are patrons. You didn't actually get the ad break. So who really got got everyone else? That's who. All right, Kyle. Um, any other additions, subtractions, adjustments we want to make here, or are we happy with this being the week three tier list? I think I think this is good. I'm just I'm just looking at all the other teams. Is there anybody else worth bringing up or anything? But uh, no, I th I think this is I think this is good. The only the only other team that's currently ranked again, AP and coaches poll doesn't mean anything. But okay, in both polls, the only team that's ranked that we do not have an S A or B tier is the Aggies. There's like 17 Aggies, Kyle. Are we talking about Texas A&M? Texas A&M, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's stupid. Why Why would anyone have Texas A&M ranked right now? Cal could know. win the ACC. You think so? Anybody could win the ACC. That's a valid point, too. Syracuse, Syracuse can win the well, ACC. Well, not Florida State. Florida State not can't. Florida State, no. I mean, Everybody technically they can. They haven't Florida lost. A, they haven't lost an ACC game yet, right? Yes, they have. Uh, they lost to Georgia they are Tech. Owen two. They are zero and two in conference, Jared. Uh, oh, that's right. Their first two game. Their first two first games, two were, games were both ACC. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot about BC. I forgot about BC. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about BC. Um, zero and two can still make it. I think. Well, with the ACC this year, eh, maybe. I mean, because cause all you got to do is beat the second team to get into the game and then maybe beat Miami. But unless they got a quarterback that I don't know about sitting on that bench, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, currently, if you're looking at the ACC in terms of standings, the only undefeated team with, a, with the best in-conference record is the Fighting McCords. Okay. I mean, we have, and we have Syracuse and B tier. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't got anybody else. Anybody in chat? You want to bring up any, anybody? Well, I see a sneaky cow in B tier, which, which we just mentioned about. here. Um, any, any other teams? Duke Duke's undefeated. Yeah. It, undefeated doesn't carry that much weight in week three. <laughs> Let's 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 be honest. All right, that's it. 
that's uh I'm gonna call that the end of the episode. Um unless do you have any Ask Sloopcast lined up, Kyle? If not, I do, not. do you have anything okay, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? <laughs> um a lot, a lot of uh, there, there's a lot that I want to talk about regarding uh all the things with the Pac twelve, but we're gonna we're gonna talk more about that in, in Tuesday's episode here but uh other than that no i i don't uh how state open up oh, how state opens as a 40 and a half point favorite over the thundering herd nice um was i think i think it was austin that posted it in the in in our anti-michigan channel where the ohio state michigan game is up to a 20 point favorite for ohio state 19 and a half 19 19 and a half. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And rising. Right, no, that's it. I, I got nothing else, Jared. All right. Tonight's ending music uh, is a, I think they're from Ohio. I couldn't actually confirm this. They are part of an Ohio record label. And I couldn't find that they weren't from Ohio, but their only band camp presence was through, through Flower Pots record, uh, Flower Pots Records, which is a Ohio-based record label. So I think they're from Ohio. If not, eh. Um, they're called. The name of the band is called Younger. The name of this song is Blast Off. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Younger. <laughs>